I mean, let's start with the merits of the case and just bring our viewers up to speed. Um, on one hand, Ezulun Investments is accusing the ANC of owing them 100 million rand, but it seems the ruling party is saying that contract was awarded fraudulently. Is this the case? You know, with respect uh, to the ANC, they ventilated their case over three courts now. Uh, the highest court, insofar as, 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 as that aspect is concerned, has ruled uh, weeks ago that the, 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 the defense was fictitious and far-fetched. So, so at this stage, the constitutional court is there only to deal with constitutional points. Indeed, if one looks at the application for leave to appeal to the concord, there are no constitutional points that they have really been able to muster. Mm. I mean, at this stage, we, we've seen the events pan out even publicly with the sheriff uh, attempting to attach their assets at Lutuli House. What happened there? Did they succeed? Uh, was there some sort of uh, you know, mediation or intervention that took place? Well, the, the, the uh, sheriff had already attached uh, last week. Mm. He had proceeded uh, to, to remove goods. And then, of course, the, the ANC finally confirmed and, and afforded proof that they had filed their application for leave to the concourse. Uh, unfortunately, in terms of Section 18 of the of the uh, Superior Court Act, uh, it then stays further execution until the application to the concourse is dealt with. Mm -hmm. Do you have confidence that this money will be paid to Israeli investments?